What's going on, everybody? Tommy Star here. Thank you for clicking on this video. Welcome to my February Blu-ray update. Yeah, we just made it. We got a day left before it's the end of March, and I'm going to have to do March's update. But anyway, like I always say, better late than never. But before we get into the update, you guys, I got a little surprise I want to show everybody. I've been meaning to do this for a couple weeks, but I wanted to wait till it was completely done. Um, and now it is. So I'm excited to show you guys. I know I've been talking for a very, very long time about going 4K. I, I keep talking about it, then I never do. Well, guys, the time has finally come. I am now part of the 4K club. I am so excited. I took tax money and I was able to get an awesome TV and player. And I got a whole new setup here in the uh, in the living room now. Uh, Jess and I, we got a new living room set. I got the shelves from Best Buy that I've always wanted to display my movies on. I got a whole new setup going on here. So before we get into the update, I'm going to give you guys a quick, super fast mini tour of the new setup. Check this out. Well, here we go, you guys. This is just a uh, overview of everything. There's the back wall. You know, it's so funny to think back to when I first started doing this what my collection looked like. It was so condensed. I was hoping I could keep the TV on that wall, but I think it looks better, don't you? Yeah, um, we need the movie night sign to do that. Yes, we gotta get that. We want it underneath the clock. Well, anyways, uh, let's take a look at it. So we got new living room furniture. We just got a new love seat and couch. We had the big sectional before, but uh, I like the, the way this looks a lot better. And you know, little end tables and lamps we got there. We got a new rug. Uh, yeah, those are just cheap little Walmart things, but they do for now. But I uh, went to Home Furniture and picked this stuff up. Way more comfortable than the other stuff. I mean, that stuff is what we bought when we first moved in. So now getting to the TV, you guys. Here it is. We got a 65-inch LG 4K. And I got to tell you, it looks beautiful. We got an LG. Oh, there you go. That looks much better. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> turn it off. Um, I got an LG 4K player. There's all Dodgers toys. <laughs> and now we get to the movie wall as you guys see you know i got those you might have noticed before but i got those track cool track lighting up there but so how i've done it here is i still got these two little shelves here i decided to put all my like box sets and collector sets on that you guys have seen that it's my favorite movie of all time we still need to get my favorite movie. yeah we're gonna get jess's favorite movie and probably okay. jess also got some new curtains there but Probably down at the end there, we'll probably put her favorite movie, which is what, Jeff? Ever, Ever After. So, up at the top now are all my Funko Pops. These are, you know, just movie Funko Pops, no horror. Those are all downstairs. And then this is what I'm really excited about. The next shelf is all my NECAs. That's super nerdy shelf. Uh, as you see, I got all the Karate Kid ones. And then we got the Ace Ventura. I got my... DeLorean back there and this is my little mask figure I, I've had for years and it's the only item on this whole section this whole wall <laughs> that I'll let my son play with <laughs> <Poor dad. laughs> so uh, but there's my Home Alone NECA's Christmas Story and then uh, the Goonies and then I just ordered all the Bill and Ted ones they should be here soon Where are you gonna put those? That, they'll fit up there no. Jess got me those for my birthday which is coming next week and then all these Funkos at the top are just like all our favorites. Home Loan, Teen Wolf, Tommy Boy. Just, you know, stuff like Jess and I's favorites. You know, we got Kimberly and Tommy, our two favorite Power Rangers. It's, it's me and Jess back when we were Power Rangers. This is Jess and I's favorite movie of all time. We watch this together every uh, anniversary. Titanic. And then hers, here's her favorite, Ghost from Game of Thrones. Some others, but they're... She's got more Game of Thrones. They're just not out here. Well, I don't think they're boxed anymore. I know Dodger took one out of the box. And then you guys all know that my favorite, all-time favorite actor is Tom Hanks. And I got uh, all the Tom Hanks pops from all the different movies. Question for you. What? Is there an Audrey Hepburn pop? Oh, I have to look that up. Maybe there is. I want one. There's a pop for everything. There is. So like I mentioned, you guys, these are the... Best Buy shelves. There's two different sizes. These are the $80 ones, and then they have a $100 one that's a little bit bigger that I have downstairs. But how I've done it here is at the top row there, those are all my 4Ks, and then these are all Blu-ray slips. Blu-ray slips continue here, 
and then you get into the non-slips. Down at the bottom, this little row of yellow ones are the only Disney that I have here because they didn't fit over there. Uh, but those are the G Kids. That those are Jess's. And then we get over here, and the last shelf is all Disney. Everything Disney. I you know those are all my Disney Movie Club exclusives, and then from here down are all my still books. I want to get the Spyro or the things that we talked about the wavy. Yeah, we got to get some more room because you guys look at I bought brand new shelves and look at as you can tell they're all basically packed. So I have no more room already. You could get one more small one right there, which I wouldn't mind because it covers the plug better. Yeah. But for in between, I want to do those old school wavy. That would be cool. Shelves. We can get those shelves right in between and put like still books in there or something. Yeah. And then the last thing I'm going to show you guys here is this new clock I got. Which has their own time on it. Yeah, we never change it during daylight <laughs> savings, but um, so there's a new clock. And uh, and that's it. And then Jess and I, there's this movie time no, it's sign. Movie night. Yeah, it says movie night. It's just like this light up sign that we want to get and put right there. So, so yeah, you guys. And there's Jess. No, I look like crap. Go away. <laughs> and then right there. Oh God. February's update. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Let's get into it. Okay, you guys, getting into the update. Like I said, this is my February update. All my pickups from February. We got 35 in this update, so not, not a bad haul for the month of February. March is, like, big time again. It's been a long time since I've had a big update, um, and, yeah, uh, March is just looking awesome, looking just huge, lots of pickups. But uh, in February, we did get some really cool stuff. Uh, we got a uh, really good stack of still books in this update, some really cool stuff. We got a good chunk of uh, horror titles. We got one DC Marvel. We got uh, three Scream Factory, two of which are collector editions. We got a good stack of A to Z with uh, a, a good chunk of new uh, 4K in it. We got one Disney title. We got an Arrow. We got two MVDs. It's been a long time since I've had MVDs. We got one series, and then we got a DVD. So... I got them all separated in categories over here on the couch, ready to rock and roll. So, without further ado, let's take a look at everything I picked up in the month of February. So, we'll go ahead and we'll start with DVDs. I got one of them, and that is Restricted Area. So, this is the movie that Cool Duder, uh, Sean C. Phillips on YouTube, along with his friend uh, Danny Sinisocker, are both in this movie. Apparently, they're in the opening scene and they both get killed, I guess, is what happens. But I, I like to support him, you know, Sean C. Phillips, and get his, you know, movies that he that he does. You know, he, he's been filming a lot more movies lately, getting more and more parts and, you know, various different horror titles. And if they come to Walmart and they're in store and I see them, I'll pick them up. I haven't watched it yet. I, I want to watch it, though, because... Uh, Apparently, they got a, a pretty funny uh, scene at the beginning. But as you can see there, it's got his name right at the top, Sean C. Phillips. Um, I'm sure you guys know who he is, but if you don't, you got to check him out. He's like the godfather of uh, the Bluetooth community. I mean, he just started it all. But anyway, so yeah, it's like a cool little slasher. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get into my boutique stuff. So the first one I'm going to show you here is Arrow. It's been a while since I've had an Arrow title. I've been meaning to pick this up for some time now, and that is the uh, newer. It's It came out, I think, last year, uh, but that is The Hills Have Eyes Part 2, uh, the original. And I don't buy a lot of Arrow's box sets. I do occasionally. I think this is like maybe the third one. But since I, I had the first Hills Have Eyes Arrow box set edition, I figured... I'll go ahead and get part two uh, box set as well. But they, I mean, Arrow just kicks ass with all their box set editions. I mean, I've thought about getting more and collecting them, but they, they're pretty spendy and it would take a really long time. But so let's take a look at what comes with it. So we got um, a booklet. You know, most Arrows always come with booklets. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I take this back. This is the booklet. This is the poster. So this is pretty cool. You get the new art and then you get the old art. So they do that a lot as well. So this is the booklet. I'm sorry. I don't even know why I thought that was a booklet, but there's a booklet. And even the standard Amory editions of Arrows, they come with booklets too. Um, but always an added bonus. And then here's the Amory. 
And they sometimes, yeah, they have the original too. Uh, original artwork, you can flip it around. So I'll go ahead and do that since it's on the box. Um, so yeah, original art. And then here's the disc on the inside. That has the art too. And then we get some postcards and stuff. I mean, all sorts of cool stuff that you get in here with the Arrow. I mean, Arrow always nails it with their uh, releases. So, all right, that is the only Arrow pickup. Next up, we're going to do MVD Rewind. So we got 20 and 21 here. Um, I believe I did an unboxing of these. Like usual, any unboxings I did in February for these particular uh, titles, I'll link down in the description box. But number 20 we got is The Point. Number 20, the only slipcover in the whole uh, collection that isn't like all retroed up, you know, like a VHS cover. I don't know why, but... Something narrated by Ringo Starr, songs written and sung. So some kind of a musical, animated something or other. I have no idea, but got to get them all because I collect all the MVDs. And then number 21 is Mind Games. Movie that looks pretty cool. As you can see, it's got the VHS cover, you know. Like, I don't know why the point didn't. I mean, every other one does, but. So, yeah, I mean, really happy to have more MVDs. As of right now, there's none announced for the MVD Rewind collection. Hopefully... They announced some soon, but as of right now, I got all 21, so. So now getting into Scream Factory. So the first one I'm going to show you is the non-collector edition, and that is the uh, new release of When a Stranger Calls Back. This is a sequel to the original. Fairly new. I mean, again, I think this got released a few months back. I can't remember. Uh, but uh, I wanted to pick this up because the first uh, movie... Uh, just got an individual release from um, uh, Mill Creek, which you'll see later in this update. So I had to get the uh, sequel from uh, Scream Factory, first time released on uh, Blu-ray, I believe, by itself. I don't know if they had like this in a double pack or something. This might be the actually first release on Blu-ray, I think. But I just had to pick it up just because, you know, like I said, uh, I finally got the first one on Blu-ray now. So there's that. Okay, so now the collector editions. First one up here is My Bloody Valentine. So this has been on Blu-ray before, but it was out of print. And now that Scream Factory released it, I was able to get it because I was never going to pay the out of print price. Such a gorgeous edition. You guys love the art. This one is one of those uh, few titles from Scream Factory that got released with an alternate slip, which I have, uh, you know, downstairs. Uh, but... Just got to love it. I'm so happy to finally have the original My Bloody Valentine on Blu-ray now. Uh, and I didn't have to pay that, uh, you know, crazy price uh, for the out-of-print one. But so happy to finally have this now. And then this one, you guys, this was uh, announced at Comic-Con. Uh, my Bloody Valentine was as well. But this one was too. And I was so happy this was on my wish list for Scream Factory for so long. And that is Pet Cemetery 2. So awesome. I not a big, big fan of the artwork. I thought it could have been a little bit better, but I am so happy just to see this on Blu-ray because it's my favorite Pet Cemetery film. I love this movie, grew up on it. Such a kick-ass movie. And now we finally have a Blu-ray, and to top it off, it's a Scream Factory Collector Edition. So I couldn't be happier. So so badass. Finally got this on Blu-ray. So all right, that's it for Scream Factory. Let's move on to the horror titles. Okay, I'll show you guys the 4K ones first. So we got, finally got 10 Cloverfield Lane on 4K. Found this for a really good price over at Half Price Books. I've been meaning to get this on 4K because I love this movie. I'll probably get the first one now on 4K as well, just to have them both. Um, the third one isn't on 4K, unfortunately. But either way, this was a phenomenal movie. And it's cool to have this edition out because if you guys remember the Blu-ray edition that came out, came with that really weird half slip. I don't know what that was all about. It's like the only time they've ever done that for a movie. But uh, now we got the 4K with the full slip. So, And then the other 4K is Doctor Sleep, the uh, brand new Shining film, the sequel or whatever you want to call it to The Shining. I think it's, I talk about, I've talked about this before, but I, I think it's a sequel. I haven't watched it yet, but I've heard of really good uh, things about this, you guys. I got to check it out. And now that I have a 4K player, 
Uh, it just makes it more exciting when, a, when I get a new 4K because I can actually watch it on 4K now, which is just so badass. But we'll get around to this soon. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to wait till like Halloween or anything to watch this movie, you know, which I tend to wait for most horror movies till the Halloween season. But this one, I'll, I'll get on this very, very soon. I know my stepdad wants to see it too, so... All right, and then moving on to the Blu-rays. Uh, like I said, finally uh, released individually with a slipcover from Mill Creek, When a Stranger Calls the Original. So they've released this a few times in, like I think, like double and triple features, uh, but never in an individual release and to top it off with a slipcover. And this was uh, you know, one of Mill Creek's cool VHS retro slipcover with the tape coming out the side. Such an awesome addition. This was so cheap. Uh, I think it was like nine bucks or something like that. But to finally have the original Win a Stranger Calls with a slip, I mean, I couldn't be happier. So, so, so cool that I uh, finally uh, was able to pick this title up on Blu-ray. Next up here is a newer title that came out. I picked this up in one of my shopping videos. A movie called Snatchers. Don't know a lot about it, but it's supposed to be, uh, like it says in the back here, delightfully kirky, bloody, razor-sharp horror comedy. Um, it looked interesting. It wasn't that expensive. Came with a slipcover, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Next up here is a movie I found at Walmart one day. It's not too, um, it's, it's fairly recent. It came out like maybe a couple weeks ago or a couple months ago. A movie that has Dennis Quaid in it called The Intruder. It sounded pretty good. If you guys want to read the back of that, if you can. It sounded kind of interesting and it was super cheap. So I just snagged it, you know, for the horror collection. We'll give it a shot and see if it's any good. All right, this one I was really excited about. I, I found this at Half Price Books with a slip. I've been looking for this for a long time, you guys. This is the Fright Night remake. And uh, this sometimes can be tough to find with a slipcover. Now, I've never seen this, but you know, I just wanted it for the collection. Uh, you know, it's the original Fright Night is like one of my favorite horror films, uh, definitely favorite vampire films. And I've wanted the, the remake for a while. And to find it with the slip, I was pretty excited. It wasn't that much at all, so... Very happy to have that for the horror collection. And then the last one, I I almost bought this when it came out because it sounded kind of cool, but then but then I didn't. And now it ended up in Walmart's dump bin. I, this came out like probably a good year ago. And to see it go down, and I think Walmart's dump bin is like at like five bucks right now, at least over at my Walmart. And this was in there. So I had to look through, make sure I found a decent slipcover, but a movie called Don't Grow Up. It's kind of like apparently it's based on like these kids, like, there's, like, this, they're, they're in this world that is, like, post-apocalyptic, uh, and they, apparently, they, they kind of have to do things on their own, and they're, like, they're only, it's all kids, I guess, I don't know, I don't know a lot about it, but it, it sounded interesting, maybe you guys want to read about that on the back, but, like I said, it was in the dump for, like, five dollars, so I snagged it. All right, you guys, that's it for horror. Let's move on. All right, next up, I'm going to show you the one and only series I got. That is the complete series of Swamp Thing. I've been hearing really, really good things about the show. And what I don't understand is that a lot of people talk about being pretty badass. And it's it only got one season. I guess it got canceled after one season. I don't know why. Usually that happens if something isn't really that good. But I've been hearing, like I said, good things. So I picked it up on release day. Um, I'm excited to give it a shot um, and check it out. Uh, for those of you who might not have known, Swamp Thing is actually a DC character. So, but yeah, happy to add it to the collection. Next up, the one and only DC Marvel title I picked up for February. And this is Marvel. Finally got the 4K of Doctor Strange. Slowly been picking up the 4Ks for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I'm about halfway through them all. Hopefully we'll get uh, every one of them soon. But I found it over at Half Price Books, and I think I paid 20 for it. A little more than I wanted to, but I figured what the hell. All right, next up, the one and only Disney title I got. And, of course, I've been buying everything Disney now 4K, like when a new title comes out. I'll get it on 4K, and I've also been replacing a lot of Disney on 4K. Been finding some really good deals. When you guys see my March update, there are tons of 4K Disney in that update. I cannot wait for you guys to see. Uh, but anyways, the one and only uh, Disney pickup for February, and that is Frozen 2. Just recently came out. I know Sadie loves the hell out of this movie. She's a big fan of Frozen. I haven't watched it. I've never even seen the first movie, but you know me. I just collect everything Disney, so... 
Definitely had to get the 4K of that. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get into the A to Z now. I will go ahead and just start with the standard Blu-rays. First one up here, the only one that doesn't have a slip. This is the Umbrella edition of Coneheads. So you guys know Umbrella is a, uh, uh, I think they're a UK company, I think. I, I think that's what they are. But majority of their stuff is region free. Like this says region B, but it'll play on a region A player. So if you guys wanna get Coneheads on Blu-ray, that's the way to go. Order this on Amazon. Like I said, it's from an umbrella. It'll say region B and it'll also tell you that it won't play on uh, a region A, but it will. Um, so, I mean, I've already watched it. It looks fantastic on Blu-ray. So if you guys want to get the Coneheads on Blu-ray, this is the way to go. There is no US release of Coneheads yet. Hopefully we will at one point get that, but had to pick it up and you can also uh, reverse the cover. So the like you know, the labels, uh, the rating labels on some of the different region titles. If you guys don't like those, you can swap, flip the insert around and then get rid of those uh, ratings. So there's Coneheads on Blu-ray. All right, next up are going to be the Blu-ray uh, with slips. Sound of Music. I picked this up for Jess. She used to have the big box set of this, but for some reason she got rid of it. She didn't like it. I, I have no idea. But I had to rebuy it for her, so I at least was able to find the slipcover edition for her. So that is for Jess. She absolutely loves this movie. All right, next up here is the Shout Select Edition, uh, number 97 for Brewster's Millions, uh, with that cool new slipcover, that new artwork. This came out to Blu-ray for the first time like a year or two ago. I picked it up, but when I seen that uh, Shout Select was released in an edition, I had to get this. Super funny movie. It's got Richard Pryor and John Candy in it. It's it's pretty hilarious. He's got to spend like $30 million in 30 days in order to inherit this bigger lump sum of money. But it, it's just super funny to see the way he spends money. It's just hilarious. But if you guys haven't seen it, definitely check this out. And then last for the Blu-rays, a movie uh, with Ethan Hawke called Adopt a Highway. Fairly new. It sounds like a kind of an interesting movie. Apparently he like he just gets out of prison from being in prison for a really long time. And then he finds this baby like in a dumpster or something. And he decides to take care of the baby. I've never seen it yet. Um, I'm, I'm looking to check it out very, very soon. But it just sounded really interesting. So I, I wanted to pick it up. I found it really cheap. So that's it for the Blu-ray A to Z. Let's take a look at the 4K A to Z. I found this over at Expensive O. <laughs> yeah, I always talk about that place, uh, Cheapo. And I don't shop there a lot, but I went in there not too long ago looking for uh, empty Blu-ray cases because that's the only place I know around that you can buy them. And I needed some more empty Blu-ray cases. So I went uh, went there to pick up a few, and they actually had some pretty cheap 4Ks. So I picked this up here. It was, I don't know, 9 bucks or something, but that is the 4K edition of Die Hard, the very first uh, Die Hard been meaning to pick this up on 4K for some time. I know I have a bunch of editions. I got the still book. I got the big tower set. I got the Christmas slipcover edition of this. Yeah, I have tons, but had to get the 4K. Next up here, you guys, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Had had to pick this up. Had to get it on 4K. Love Tom Hanks. You guys know he's my all-time favorite actor. I enjoyed the movie. I was just wishing it would be more... It would have been more about Mr. Rogers you know, instead of focusing on that other storyline. But Tom Hanks did phenomenal in the role. I, I, I enjoy the movie. I got to watch it again. I saw it in the theater and that's it. I definitely need to give it another watch, but I still enjoy it and I had to pick it up. You know, it's Tom Hanks, you know. And then the last two uh, A to Z 4Ks are the uh, last two Rambo movies I needed. Two and three. And what's funny is that, you know, I had one, four, and five. And I just needed to get these two on 4K. And I found both of them with slip at Half Price Books one day. And it was the only ones I had. Like, they didn't have any of the other ones but the two I needed. I thought that was kind of funny. And they weren't that much. I think they were like, I think they were like nine, ten bucks a piece. So now I have all the Rambos on 4K, which is badass. So now we just got to get all Rocky on 4K. Come on. We got to get those on 4K. Oh, my God. But. So there you go, you guys. Uh, that's all my A to Z. Let's move on to the final category, which, of course, are steelbooks. Okay, so you guys, like normal, I always take all the discs out of these steelbooks so you guys can see all the art outside and inside. First one up here is the only A to Z steelbook I picked up. This, I 
believe that, I'm pretty sure this was exclusive to Best Buy. Yeah, I think it was. Uh, but that we finally got a still book for The Breakfast Club. Love, love the look of the still book. Of course, as you guys can see, it's like the locker. Uh, but there's the front. There's the back. Spine. And then the inside. All right, next up, I'm going to show you the three still books I picked up from Zobby. Now, I did an unboxing of these. Again, will be down in the description box below. So, you know, I show in full detail in those videos as well. But first one up here is Black Christmas. Like I said, these are from Zobby. Love the artwork on this one. There's a spine. And then here's the inside. There's no artwork on that side. So that uh, there's Black Christmas. The original Amityville Horror. back spine and the inside and then the last one from zavi is uh, the original friday 13th and yeah i've talked about this before there's a spine talked about this before i don't know why jason's on the front um because he's not in this movie but great picture on the inside all right, so that's it from Zavi. Now, this still book is badass. I've been wanting this for a long time. It was pretty spendy, a, a little more than I like to pay for still books, but it's worth it. It is such a gorgeous still book, and that is Terrifier. Absolutely beautiful. It's got a gloss uh, finish to it, and it's got the border, too. I, I love still books that have that border. There's the back with that just awesome kill scene. There's the spine, and then... Some pretty cool art on the inside. But yeah, you guys, yeah, I mean, if you're a fan of this movie, you got to pick up the still book. It is badass. And, you know, I had to pick up the still book for this as well. But uh, Dr. Sleep, the exclusive 4K still book from Best Buy. And I love the picture. I love how we have, like, the old school look of Danny from The Shining on there. That is just awesome. But there's the front. Back, pretty simple. There's the spine. And then there's the inside. Cool still book. All right, so that takes us to the last and final item in my February Blu-ray update. All right, you guys. So I have been talking about picking this up for the longest time, and I never did. I think it started at, I can't remember, maybe 200. I, I can't remember what it started at. It was pretty expensive, and that's mainly why I didn't get it. And it kept going down in price, and then it would go back up a little bit. And then finally... It went all the way down to, I think I got it for 80. I think that is the cheapest I found it for. And then after I sold the codes, I didn't pay much for it in the end. But I wanted to get it on release day and I didn't just because it was so pricey. I'm, I thought about maybe not getting it, but in the end, I am so happy that I finally got it, you guys, because this is beautiful. And that is the Best Buy, I again, I, I'm pretty sure it was Best Buy exclusive. Uh, but the Best Buy exclusive 4K steelbook set of all four Avengers uh, movies, you guys. Such a beautiful set. Look, uh, it's like the same size as the Batman one, the Tim Burton, Joel Schumacher set that Best Buy release as well. But this is so nice, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and pull each one of these out uh, one at a time so we can take a closer look at them. So first off, you get this like letter from... Uh, Kevin Feige uh, from the MCU. Just a little letter that he, he wrote. Um, you get in this little envelope. Got the Avengers logo on the back here. But that's pretty cool. Like Just a, like a little added bonus that he stuck in here. Um, just kind of talking about you know the Avengers movies and how crazy and big it turned out to be in the end. But So here's uh, Avengers 1, front. Back, spine. And I love how they kind of have like a theme. Like they all have like a different color. And then there's the inside. Love the animated art. Here is Age of Ultron. This has got the red look to it. So, so cool. And there's the inside. Infinity War with the purple. Like I said, a beautiful set. So happy to finally own this. Love the picture on the inside of this one. And then the last and final one, of course, Endgame. So, so happy to have this site, you guys. Check that out. Captain America on the inside. 
love it. So like I said, just a very gorgeous set. So happy to add it to the, you know, Marvel collection. I know I already have still books of all these movies, but I really wanted this collection because I just absolutely loved it. And in the end, I only ended up paying like 50 bucks for it after I sold the code. So, so, so happy to finally have this. All right, everybody, that'll do it for my February Blu-ray update. Like I said, I, I almost missed it. You know, today's the 30th. So I had one more day to go before I... uh uh, was too late in posting this video. I'm sorry it was late, you guys, but everybody knows just craziness going on out there. And uh, I've just been busy, a lot of crap going on. But either way, I got it out in time. So now we just have another day to go and it'll be time to do my March update. So hopefully I'll get March out a lot sooner. Uh, I'm hoping to do it in the first week of March, uh, of April. Uh, and we'll go through all my March titles, which I got a lot, probably more than double this update, uh, with a lot of really, really neat stuff. I cannot wait for you guys to see. So that'll do it. You guys hope you enjoyed the new setup back there. Uh, the new 4k TV. I'm so happy with the whole new living room set. Uh, I, I am working downstairs. There's a lot of changes going on down there as well. Hopefully I get that done soon. When I have it done down in the man cave, I will do a brand new tour and updated video of everything going on down there. Uh, so you guys can be caught up on all that stuff. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the like button down below. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys think of the pickups. Did you guys pick up any of these titles? Share the video around. Subscribe if you have not. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.